Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk, the reaper, man Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one knows, come on what is up youtube it is showtime and i am back with it again in another video now in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some of the best gold badges you guys can use honestly these videos are for the sons out there who just want to improve and have certain badges to and have have more badges to save so the more badges you save um the more badge points you can use on other things uh, so these type of videos are very important i think this is the last one i'm going to do we already did the best bronze one we did the best silver one and the gold one um I might do the best Hall of Fame ones, like Hall of Fame, like badges you must have on Hall of Fame. Uh, but just for today's video, it'll be badges that um, you guys definitely can consider using on gold and will still work very well on gold. Before we get started, as usual, just please do like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. When For those of you guys who do those things, it does help the channel a whole lot. I know it sounds very minimal, but it actually helps a whole lot. So once again, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll get straight into today's video on some of the best gold badges you guys could or should be using right now in NBA 2K22. So first things first, we're actually going to start off with the actual um, defensive badges. And I'm going to show you guys some gold badges you guys should or could be using. Uh, the first one we're going to go over is Hustler. Now, Hustler Gold works very, very well. Honestly, I use it on silver, but there's been times where I use it on gold. I don't usually go higher than gold. I've been liking gold a little bit more than usual. Um, it feels good. Honestly, the effectiveness to me feels feels good. But honestly, it feels the same as gold. It honestly, if I'm being completely honest, it feels almost the same as uh, silver. But if you guys want to use a gold, that option is avail available for you guys. And I do and would recommend using the Hustler badge on gold. Uh, so another badge I would definitely use on gold that I use on gold all the time is Interceptor. Now, honestly, like I don't see like Interceptor Hall of Fame, you definitely could use. But like gold and Hall of Fame really do feel the same. They almost do feel the same to me anyways. 2K did do a nerf. Or like there's less AI help when getting passing lane steals. So it almost feels like the badge has been nerfed. So it, personally, I highly recommend you use it on gold. There's nothing wrong with using it on gold. I think that's what I actually use it on my main. I think my new main badge setup, I think that's what I use it on anyways. So Interceptor Gold works very well. Another badge you guys will find work very well and is very popular is Intimidator. So there are a whole lot of people that are using Intimidator on gold and it's for a reason. It works very, very, very well on gold. I'm telling you guys, Intimidator is a very OP badge this year. Intimidator, especially for centers because you guys know I'm a center, um, it really does help with like stopping lobs and stuff. So it's a really good badge. And um, yeah, you really feel the effectiveness of the badge even on gold. I'm telling you guys, definitely a highly recommended badge to use on gold. Now, another one I'm going to recommend you guys is Chase Down Artist. Chase Down Artist is not that great this year. Sometimes, most of the time, you guys will see me use it on silver. Sometimes, I'll move it up to gold. I do recommend using this one on gold. Chase Down Artist Gold is going to work very well for you. Once again, Chase Down is not a very good badge this year. It just feels like um, they've heavily nerfed the badge all year round. It doesn't feel like the badge has ever been the best defensive badge yes last year it was really really good who knows maybe in 2k23 will become that badge again or you know a really good badge but for now not the not the best badge so honestly silver or gold but we're gonna go with gold that is definitely going to help you now another badge you guys can definitely use on gold is ball stripper i'm a huge fan of ball stripper this year like this is one of my this is one of the most my my one of my favorite badges i've definitely used and it's highly it's slept on it's so slept on so underrated Ball Stripper Gold is going to work very well for you. Personally, there have been times where I use a Hall of Fame. I think I'm using a Hall of Fame right now. A lot of people do use a Hall of Fame. Uh, but Gold works very, very, very well. Like, Ball Stripper, is, it's, it's that badge. You guys just have honestly got to get into position. Sorry, my controller died. Give me one second. My controller always dies. Yeah. But if you guys want a tutorial on how to use the Ball Stripper badge, I think that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop a tutorial on how to use the Ball Stripper badge. And I feel like it's going to be very enjoyable and it'll def like ball being able to ball strip people is going to make your defense insane. I'm going to drop a video dedicated on how to use the ball stripper badge. It's definitely going to elevate you guys games to new heights. So you guys are going to be a lot better in games and you guys are going to perform better on defense. Being able to ball strip people um, whenever you feel like it. Now, another badge I definitely recommend using on gold is the pickpocket badge. I think this is what I use it on. I use it on silver and gold. I'll really go back and forth between the two. Honestly, it's really good on both. Like, it's really, really good. I think right now I'm actually using it on the Fame, but 
I say probably go silver or gold. I feel like Hall of Fame is a bit much. Unless you're always double teaming, which most times, especially when you're playing the comp stage, you really are. So if you're if you're double teaming a whole lot, I definitely say use Hall of Fame. But if you're always in situations where you're only double teaming sometimes, why waste it? And just put it on silver or gold. So I say gold. You guys can put it on gold. That's that's another one that's gonna work very well for you on gold. And now I'm just trying to take a quick look here to see if I'm missing anything. Another one that I'll just kind of throw in there is Worm. I see a lot of people use Worm on Gold. The only time I've used it is on Hall of Fame. Honestly, Worm is not a, a badge I use. I feel like I don't use it very often, but if you're using it, definitely consider using it on Gold. And now we can kind of move on to the other badge points, our playmaking. Yeah, we're gonna go to the playmaking. Now, um, there's quite a few ones here. So Bullet Pass or Gold is really, really good. Really, really effective badge. Um, I definitely use bullet pass or gold um another one unpluggable like you really don't need this gold i use it on bronze i'm not even gonna throw that one in there um honestly i could like quick first step okay i don't i feel like quick first step is not a good that good like it's not that good this year but you could use it on gold for sure blue hands and bela are really good badges so i'm gonna throw them in there only because if you do use it on gold it's really cheesy badges like glue hands and badges like bailout are very 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 cheesy i'm telling you for you centers out there it is very very cheesy another one i want to throw in there is special delivery this is a really good badge it's like a takeover booster so once you guys commit a flashy a flashy pass assist your takeover mood your takeover meter goes up significantly um so yeah special delivery is really really good you know i think i'm actually going to use this for a video I think I want to do that for a video idea. Special delivery is really good. You guys got to check out Selling Dog on YouTube. He dropped a video on him using this and proof that it actually does. It's like a takeover booster. So, yeah, special delivery for sure. Um, yeah, that's basically it, I'd say. And then for the um, shooting, you know, I'm not really a shooting center, but I guess I can cover some. If I was a shooting center, catch and shoot gold would work very well for you. Um, a lot of these badges, I, I recommend having Hall of Fame. Sniper gold is really good. If you guys can get sniper gold, sniper gold is really, really good. Uh, green machine gold can work for you. And that's basically it. Everything else I'd probably use on a different tier. And then for the finishing, all these badges gold you're seeing work very well. Actually, I'll be honest. Posterizer gold doesn't feel that effective. I won't even lie to you. But I get contact dunks because I really just know how to get them. But Hall of Fame is going to feel better for you guys for sure. Let me let's take off Hall of Fame. is going to feel better for sure. All these badges that you guys are seeing are probably better on Hall of Fame. But I'm just going to like show you guys some ones that work very well. Rise Up on Gold works very well. It's, it's just a simple badge. Makes it easier to dunk one under the basket. Grace Under Pressure is so good, bro. I love this badge on Gold, bro. On Gold, it makes it feel a lot better. I'm not going to mention these three because all three of these really do feel better on Hall of Fame. Uh, some other Gold badges is Fearless Finisher. Fearless Finisher works very well on Gold. Um, and so does Giant Slayer. Giant Slayer, especially when you're a smaller center build, this definitely feels a lot better. I'm telling you guys. Uh, Slither Finisher, I feel like it's the same on the Royal Hall of Fame. Personally, it's honestly the same thing to me. And the same thing with Mouse in the House. So Mouse in the House is a really, really good badge this year. Um, if you're a taller center, like a 6'9", 6 6'10", 6 this badge is going to be your badge. You guys definitely want to you know, do your thing with this badge. And also Unstrippable. Unstrippable is also a really good badge to have, especially when you're tall. Because you, when the taller you are, people who use ball stripper this is the counter to ball stripper I'm telling you guys and then put back boss is also one worth mentioning on gold it works very well and that is basically all for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video honestly videos like this are not long they're not tedious it's just quick and to the point i just show you guys badges i'd recommend you guys use on gold every once in a while or whatever it is um they all work well on uh, gold i'm telling you guys um but yeah, once again, please do like, comment, and subscribe to the videos. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys want the Hall of Fame badge version to this, I will drop it very soon. So I appreciate you guys tuning in, and I will see you guys in the next one.